Hello dear friends very warm welcome to all of you at our conceptual brainstorm integrated session of anatomy this session is especially dedicated for the neat pg preparation ini cet preparation for the fmg exams as well as our undergraduate students for the dissection health yes we will see the cadaveric images it will be very useful for the different surgical fields also so one by one we are going to understand these images each and every muscle of the body step by step but before that always there is the one problem from the student side that's that is the sir we are having the lots of confusion regarding the cadaveric images first when the cadaveric images are asked in exam we are getting the sympathetic stimulation yes we are having the fear how to deal with it i am telling few basic rules first whenever the cadaveric images are given don't look over that arrow point where it is indicating yes you have to look above you have to look down you have to look right you have to look left then also you have to go for the option this all things will give you proper direction for the thinking so that you can identify that muscle so just remember this law i am telling you with one shairi yes there is one very famous shairi by our rahat indauri sahab wo bulati hai magar jaane ka nahi but you know what is the uh, second line ye duniya hai idhar aane ka nahi yes just in similar way remember this is the basic rule we will repeat again and again to crack any kind of the image suppose arrow is over this muscle and what is happening at time of exam we are looking this image and we are getting fear i am not aware about this muscle okay no wo dikhata hai magar seedhe dekhne ka nahi yes go for the option the option will tell you it is head neck area thorax area abdomen area upper limb lower limb area what okay fine so according to the option you can give the proper direction to the your mind now look at the top look at the bottom look right look left and according to this all try to catch that point fine so we are going to follow this all the things one by one step by step we are going to look yes for the proper understanding i am showing you the three dimensional images also try to catch this point yes we are looking this our pectoral region we are starting from the pectoral region so can you see the area in front of the chest is known as the pectoral region three dimensional orientation so when you will dissect in our cadaver you will be able to see one very big muscle at front of the chest what is the name yes in our simplified video i had told told you already this is the cadaveric image and 3d Uh, uh our um, image integration so i am just uh, summarizing that all the things yes this is the pectoral region which is showing the big muscle so this is the pectoralis major yes it is taking origin from the clavicle you can see the medial to third part yes sir here is the medial to third part then you can see it is taking origin from the our bone sternum and it is taking origin from the abdomen part external oblique aponeurosis these all the fibers are getting insertion into the lateral lip of the our intertubercular sulcus do you remember lady between two major our that mnemonic yes it is getting insertion into the lateral lip of the intertubercular sulcus medial lip was occupied by the teres major and lady who was the lady our latissimus dorsi agree so this is the pectoris major muscle now when you will dissect this one then you can see another muscle this is a small muscle at the pectoral region so this is the pectoralis minor yes it is taking origin from the first second no third fourth and fifth rib and it is getting insertion into the scapula coracoid process getting the point fine so when it will contract it will pull the coracoid process on the front side so it will cause protraction of scapula agree also you can see the zigzag muscle on the lateral aspect of the our thorax so this is serrated in appearance that's why serratus it is migrating to the front side that's why anterior and one very small muscle at our pectoral region just below the clavicle so this is our clavicle bone just below the clavicle you can see one muscle which is getting origin from the first rib so this is the subclavius sub means below clavius means clavicle simply so these are the four muscle now with the proper knowledge of this all come to this cadaveric image look here look at the option first fine it will give proper direction for your thinking now start from the silly point can you see 
this is our area of the body which is having the rounded contour and this elongated part is going in this way okay you can see the whitish color part whitish color part thick presenting part it is the bone okay now you can see the whitish color part here also correct sir so with the option give proper thinking proper direction to your thoughts yes it may be the neck portion shoulder portion arm portion option will tell you okay you can see here the arm and the chest area yes it is the our chest area now you can see this bony part the long horizontal bone only one bone is situated in such kind of the way only long horizontal bone in our body yes this is the clavicle so definitely this portion is our neck area we are we are starting from the silly points yes sir here will be the neck this will be the our shoulder area so this bone which is present at the root of the neck definitely it is our clavicle agree now you can see the clavicle medial part one muscle is taking origin and you can see yes see here this particular part is coming from this bony part the bony part at the midline of the chest sir this will be the sternum yes sir this is the sternum agree so here is the clavicle this is the sternum now catch this muscle part is taking origin from the our sternum the topmost portion you can see you can see the manubrium so this is our external head agree and here you can observe this portion of the muscle is taking origin from the clavicle so what nomenclature you want to give to this muscle sir it will be our yes sternocleidomastoid agree now you can see the very big muscle the part which is taking origin from the clavicle yes sir so this is the clavicular part and you can see the manubrium part you can observe this portion is coming from the body this all the fibers are going towards the lady between two major yes sir so definitely this big muscle is our yes pectoralis major this is our clavicular head here is our manubrial head and this large portion is showing external head and the portion which is coming from the abdomen in the abdomen portion i will tell you here is the muscle external oblique flat tendon of the external oblique is known as external oblique aponeurosis so this muscle is coming from the external oblique aponeurosis so this is our external oblique also you can say abdominal part this all the muscles are going towards our humerus yes this is the arm portion correct few more things for all of you can you see the rounded contour of the shoulder this is made by the our deltoid in recent exam this question had been asked that one patient was coming with the covid yes he needs the covid 19 vaccination so if you are doing the covid 19 vaccination at this shoulder area after that if the person is having the loss of the contour of shoulder which muscle is paralyzed this was the recent inict question remember that is our deltoid ini cet 2022 pattern remember the rounded contour of the shoulder is maintained by the deltoid muscle now one old question pattern can you see this portion this gap this gap is in between the deltoid and pectoralis major yes sir this entire muscle is our pectoralis major with the four heads so try to catch this space is between deltoid that's why delto pectoralis major that's what delto pectoral groove you will say yes and what is a delto pectoral groove definitely the groove between the deltoid and pectoralis major one more name it is below the lateral one third of the clavicle that's why this is also known as infra clavicular osa this is very important 
one question, old AIMS question, which had been repeated in 2021 INICT again. What is the bony structure which is felt at this? Our infraclavicular fossa answer is coracoid process. Agree? Again, this is the our INICET question. Fine. I am showing with the three dimensional orientation. Can you see? Here is the bone clavicle. Agree, sir? And this is the lateral one third part just below to it. Which bony process is there? Kauwe ki choch ki tarah moda hua bony process hai. Kauwe ki choch ki tarah hai. That's why it is known as the coracoid process. Crow beak like process. So this is the, your question with proper three dimensional orientation I told you. Now try to understand one important question. What is the important content at this area? Can you see? There is the one vein. Yes sir. There is the one vein which is running in deltopectoral groove and then it will open into the axillary vein. So this is our, yes, remember it is our cephalic vein. Very important. Remember, this cephalic vein pierces the clavipectoral fascia. Another MCQ, this cephalic vein pierces the clavipectoral fascia and then it opens into axillary vein. It is having the too much surgical importance for the many catheterization process surgical process you can guess the cephalic vein in this infraclavicular fossa so these are the important questions with this image hope you all will like it thank you god bless you all all the best Get the best education with Dr. Shrikan Varma classes. Wish you all the best from my side and also from Dr. Shrikan Varma classes. Namaskar, Pyare Chhatro. I am Chitan Bhagat. Dr. Shrikan Varma sir, ke sabhi students ko nae saal ki bahut bahut shubh kamanae aur vadai deta hoon.